Okay, thank you, Bruce. Um, my name is Bob Hummer. I'm the Howard Odom Professor of Sociology at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. So I'm honored to have been on the planning committee for this morning's uh, joint symposium and to co-chair the program, uh, the IPHS program, with my colleague, Allison Ayalo. Uh, I join Sandy and Bruce in welcoming you to the symposium, um, and thank you all for coming. So this opening session of the symposium is entitled Population Health in the United States, The Stakes Are High. Uh, this session was conceptualized as a big picture overview of the serious population health trends and disparities currently facing our country. In my view, there are no two better people than Eileen Crimmins and David Williams for providing us with the foundation we need to both better understand U.S. population health and to help us think through effective policy toward population health improvement. Eileen and David will each speak for 20 to 25 minutes, Eileen focusing on recent population health trends and David on racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic disparities. Together, they'll set the stage for the rest of the symposium and for those attending IAPHS for all of our sessions over the next three days. Given how busy they both are, I'm simply thrilled that they have both come uh, to be with us today and to share their thoughts with us. I'll first introduce Eileen, and then following her keynote talk, we'll then introduce David. So Eileen Crimmins is the AARP Chair in Gerontology and University Professor at the Davis School of Gerontology at the University of Southern California. There, she co-directs the USC-UCLA Center on Biodemography and Population Health, the NIA-sponsored Biomarker Network, the NIA-sponsored Life Course Disparities Network, and the Multidisciplinary Research and Gerontology Training Program. She's a member of the National Academy of Sciences, the National Academy of Medicine, and fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. Eileen's research is focused on the factors promoting healthy aging and healthy life expectancy. She has received the Kleemeyer Award for Research from the Gerontological Society of America and the Matilda White Riley Distinguished Scholar Award from the Section on Aging in the Life Course of the American Sociological Association. She was also recently elected president-elect of the Population Association of America and will serve the PA as president in 2020. So thank you, Eileen, for accepting our invitation to speak today, and let's welcome her to the podium.